I was actually watching something of interest on um, uh, on the television, on the Victrola, not the Victrola, on the Motorola, on the Sylvania, and it was a it was an HBO series on documentary. It was actually very good on the Iranian Revolution and the Carter years when the Iranian students took over and over took, redundant, yes, true, the American embassy and what that was like, the revolution. It made me think of a number of things. My God, that's what a revolution looks like. That's, now that's an insurrection. Now that's sedition. Now that, now that is, wow, kind of pales by comparison to some more contemporary versions of such, but I digress. I want to talk about this, and I want to wonder what 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 invariably will people of the future think? Historians, when they look back at this particular epoch, this particular period of time, and how they will hoot and howl and laugh in collective syncopated derision at our lunacy. And yes. Yes, my friends, I'm wearing dark glasses because it's my new affectation, my new personality. I've become an old blues harp player down in his luck. Think Chet Baker, which isn't harp, but or a, a bad vice cop from one of those 50s uh, types of shows, that uh, Peter Gunn kind of era. Or, the truth, I'm still, when I recorded this, still reeling substantially from these heavy-duty drops that my ophthalmologist placed in my eyes when he dilated them. And, and, and everything, I can't read. I can't read. I'm, I'm, I'm walking around, uh, you know, uh, uh, looking rather piteous. And even the lights that surround this contraption are bothersome to me. So please, just, this is the last time you'll see them, unless, unless I like the look, unless I like the affectation or your response. Vote yes or no. Should I keep the shades? What do you think? Like I care. Let's get down to business. Let's really start to think about this. And by the way, all of you manualists at home, keep practicing makes a great gift and really can break the well, break the wind but also break the uh, break the ice in a crowded elevator but I digress I'm an adult with a childish sense of humor but please before we get into this let me remind you that we must first hear a word from our sponsor a new study reveals nearly 50% of adults rated vision loss as the worst possible health outcome. Those questioned voted that losing vision would be worse than losing a limb, their hearing, speech, or memory. More adults would rather lose their memory than their eyesight. The things you need for healthy vision cannot be produced by your body. You must be supplementing them into your diet. Otherwise, your eyesight suffers. You need eye vitamins. The eye vitamins you want to maintain and support healthy vision are in this amazing new pill. This product helps protect the eyes against the dangerous blue light emitted from phone and computer screens while simultaneously supporting visual contrast, eye processing speed, glare recovery, cognitive function, and more. I'm teaming up with the creators behind these vitamins so you can get your vision strengthened and receive up to 51% off your own order by clicking the link below are simply going to visionwithlionel.com. Order today to get yours delivered to your doorstep today. All right, my good friend, as I was saying, Mrs. L and I happened to be perusing, no, not perusing, that's reading. We were watching the various shows and uh, programs on the Vic on the, I keep saying the Victrola, on the Sylvania. Did you ever have one of those big TV sets in your living room when you were a kid? Did you, do, you, do you remember when TV sets warmed up? 
Remember horizontal hold and vertical? Were you the one assigned from your father? You were the remote control. Did you ever do that? You get behind it. Okay, now. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's good. Good, good. Okay, hold it. Or maybe move the rabbit ears or whatever. Those were the days, weren't they? I remember when, when cable came. Cable. And in Florida, where I'm from, Florida, not Florida, Florida, we said, well, this is great because we won't have the reception problem we had with antennas, and antennas were always being hit by lightning. So we got cable, which we couldn't believe we're, 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 we're going to spend money for TV. TV was free. <laughs> oh, now we have paywalls. How are you? Anyway, so my friends, as I was watching this, looking at how we were looking back on this period of time, which I remember so, so well. Oh, my God, in the 80s. Oh, God, I remember right after that, I was working for a U.S. senator. It was my first real kind of job after after um, college. I mean, serious job. You know I mean? And, I, and I just, I, I, it, it was something. And I was watching these, this revolution. Four and a half, five million people with guns and knives and placards screaming, going after it, with dipping their hands in blood. And I mean, it was wild. It, I mean, it was, I thought, you know, that's a revolution. That's a revolution. That is a, an insurrection, a sedition. That, that's something as opposed to this January 6th thing. Some poor guy walking around looking like Chewbacca wearing a Valkyrie helmet <clears throat> or some water buffalo. Looks like one of those those one of those lodges that that Ralph and you know Cramden or Cramden and Norton whether were in, you know, the, the water buffaloes or this, wearing these sunny bono woolen vest and <laughs> this <coughs> with people saying, come on in. Remember the security? The frightened security? Come on in. <laughs> you know, that, that revolution, that's, that's what I think a revolution is. Call me wacky. But that's what I think it is. In any event. It made me think, what would people think about us today? What would people think? What would you... What would be your moment? Let's say 40 years from now, you get to put together, um, well, I would be over 100, but um, you never know. But you would, you would put together a collection of, of what we're seeing today. What would be the thing that you would say? Here's my, my moment. Mine's very simple. Very simple. It would be federal uh, judicial nominees, Supreme Court nominees, anybody nominee, up for consideration, for lifetime tenure, being asked the following. What is the definition of a woman? <laughs> Seriously. Really? Really? I'll take it from there. Where, 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 would you, where, where would you go next? Where? What would be the thing that you would say, oh, this is good? If you think, did you ever think that we ever had a president who was a little stunad, a little destarura, a little pacho, a little, as we say in West Tampa, arrebatado, a little deep fried, crispy. What would be your favorite and, and, Trump moment too? No, 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 this is, this is your, please, this is your Trump or Jimmy Carter or Jan Quayle with the spelling potato wrong. Remember when we thought that, we thought that was, we were so high, we were so sophisticated, we thought, was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. 
What would you? What would be your favorite Biden moment? Shaking hands with Lamont Cranston, maybe. Um, Signing, hey, where is uh, you know dead legislators? Have we anybody see uh, see here? No, okay. No, are you being metaphorical? I mean, you see her in the in the hereafter. Carmelita saying, you know, we've always had an alliance with North Korea. Ooh, North South. I could go on and on. How about certain John Waters? horror shows being depicted in school. How about, I mean, just just go, th go through, just in the past five years, just the moments of presidential eloquence. W what, what would we show today? You can even go back to the days of George W. Bush, where he wanted to put food in his family and anyway. But just ask yourself, think, what would we show the world of the future about our left and right and, and who we were and what we considered important and what we argued about and what we rioted about and, and the people we elected? And I would have as a moment, as my little time capsule, People driving around cars by themselves, wearing a mask, by themselves. Forget outside. Forget walking alone in the middle of nowhere in the hot summer sun, by themselves. Maybe double mask, not even counting those welding masks, but alone in their car. Not an Uber, not a cab their car. That, that is the height of insanity that we accepted, that we thought nothing of. Do you think maybe one day historians will be going through debris, you know, like remains or ruins and they'll find still the adhesive strips stand six feet away from each other. Six feet. Here's us. These are six feet apart. Or the, the, remember when we would walked down a, an aisle of a store and thought, if we all walked in one direction, you won't get COVID. But if you cross each other, if you turn around and go against the traffic, good times. What we are seeing, what you are seeing, what we are observing is the complete and total devolution of humanity as we know it. That is is what history will record. Now, my friends, I thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your attention. Please like this video. Please. Please subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. Tell someone. And please, I beg, comment as you see fit.